Okay, today we're going to look at the intersection points of the interior angle bisectors of a triangle. Let's start by drawing our triangle. Let's change this to solid. There's a nice triangle. And what we're going to do then is draw the interior angle bisectors. Now, GSP does this very nicely. If you select three points, it constructs the angle bisector for the middle angle. There we go. Let's just make that uh, medium and dashed. Maybe thin, actually. Super. Do that again. Then we want the next angle along. So we choose the points in that order. Construct angle bisector. Fantastic. And then the third one. Now, do you think that if I draw this angle bisector, are they all going to intersect at the same point? Two seconds to have a guess. One, two. Oh, it seems that they do all intersect at a point. Let's just move this triangle around there. Let's just make sure that's always true or empirically true because we're not proving it just by showing this. But it seems like it's always true uh, from what we can see here. So, first thing we should note that we're going to take from this is that there is an intersection point of the interior angle bisectors. There we go. The second thing we're going to do then is we're going to remember that if we have a point on an angle bisector, that point is equidistant from the other two sides. Okay? And also, this point must be then equidistant from these two sides along this angle bisector. Oop. Okay. And similarly, this point then, if it was on this angle bisector, must be equidistant from those two highlighted sides. So what we can say from that, I think it's fairly straightforward to deduce, is that this point must be equidistant from all three sides. Mmm, that's interesting. So that's point number two. What that means then, the kind of lovely result of that, is that if I draw a circle with the point of intersection as its center, that circle should then intersect those three sides, like so. And we call this an e-scribed circle. Let's just type that in and go on. And we're going to drag it an e-scribed circle. That makes sense, doesn't it? Let's just put that in, highlight it. Now, we don't know exactly where it intersects because we're kind of just guessing a little bit. What we could do then to find out exactly where it intersects is because we want the perpendicular distance from the point to the side is we could draw a perpendicular line in. There's our perpendicular line. Let's just change the color of it. Let's go, what do you reckon, red? Is that going to help us? And then I'm going to just draw this point here so we can actually get rid of that whole line. Let's remove that hide line and let's draw another one in. So there's our perpendicular distance. Uh, let's do that the same thing then for the other side. Is Let's construct the perpendicular line. Super. Let's mark on where it intersects and let's hide the line again hide perpendicular line and then let's draw there we go there's our perpendicular distance so straight away we're saying that these two distances should be the same let's just check it out measure the length of that 3.8 measure the length oh, gotta not highlight that bit measure this length and yeah, they're both 3.8. Okay, that bodes well. And then let's do the last one. Construct a perpendicular line. Let's mark on our point here. Oh, didn't do that right. Edit, undo. There we go. Let's hide this whole line. And then draw in that distance. There we go. And again, let's just measure that line to make sure it's the same. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty fancy. And again, let's just get the circle in. 
and what we should see is that circle as we should be pretty obvious now will then fit nicely into those points okay so two things one uh, angle bisectors in a triangle intersect at a point and that point is then the center of what we call the e scribe circle because that point is equidistant from all of the sides right hope you enjoyed that i know i did